What's going on, people? We are Tottenham TV back here for another Tottenham update. But let's get straight into the update. And of course, we're going to talk start talking about Pedro Neto as Fabrizio Romano says that. From what I'm hearing, it's likely uh, he's likely seeing that Pedro Neto will be leaving in the summer window. There'll be more. In, there will be important clubs on it. His agents have have already been in contact with some clubs. I cannot mention the clubs yet, but for sure the appreciation of clubs like Arsenal is clear since a long time. Pedro Neto was appreciated by Liverpool some months ago. So let's see how with the new director what's going to happen with the three clubs. For sure, are showing interest in Pedro Neto in terms of scouting, and we'll see what happens happens in terms of the negotiations in the next month so Liverpool Arsenal Tottenham and apparently some other clubs all going for Pedro Neto this summer uh, do you see that being likely that he's going to join Spurs then if these clubs are in for him I mean if we're in the Champions League I think we still can definitely um, have a strong case for him to come because if you're looking at our starting 11 I think definitely like he'll definitely see a pathway to getting like being the number one winger at the club essentially if he comes here being the star player at Arsenal look they got they got very good wingers Sakura Martinelli he'll be competing with two very young wingers as well very high quality wingers we've done a really good job there Liverpool chock a block full of attacking talent not to say that we don't have a lot of attacking talent we do but he's going to look at Werner and Johnson or with Werner still here and Solomon and he's going to think I'm easily going to be ahead of those it's not going to be well, the same you've got uh, Sonny on the left you got well yeah but Sonny could be a striker as well so even even uh, if Son is is a winger, he could also play uh, play yeah, up front. Yeah, but I look at Liverpool's options, and I think Pedro Neto gets into that team. I think he does, but it's not as easy as getting to the Spurs team, uh, in my opinion. Anyway, um, I don't think they're going to play him number nine. Salah's pretty much going to be playing on on the right all the time. So he's, look, he's he's got a spot on the left there, but he's competing with Diaz, competing with Gakpo, Jota, some very, very good players who Liverpool who are Liverpool are happy with. We're not happy with our wingers. That's a big difference. And I'm not saying he wouldn't get game time Liverpool. Of course he would. I'm just saying when we're putting forward our well if we're putting our hat in the ring we've definitely got a case look come here you'll be first choice winger every single week you're going to be our star player you 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 can really explode at Liverpool and Arsenal I'm sure he would have a good career as well but we definitely we, we can definitely have a case to put our foot forward as well for sure you're looking at Liverpool as well like Salah's getting no younger is how much longer is he going to be there say for, for like, Liverpool uh, you could say that for Son as well yeah sure but Son's about to get a new contract and he's the club captain um, Mo Salah you just don't know how long he's going to be there for uh, past this year Klopp's leaving at the end of the season is, are the, is he going to see it as uh, potentially going on for a fresh new challenge we don't know that um, another as reason you can might buy big Spurs over Liverpool why start a re and like a fresh challenge when Postacoglu might be a year into his tenure a bit more settled and you know he will, maybe will be in a better place to really push on than you think Spurs maybe. will be in a better place than Liverpool to push on in the summer who knows I don't know who knows if, if Klopp's leaving I can safely say they won't be I can safely I say that Liverpool say that. will be ahead of Spurs in the summer, hundred percent. Well, look, they're going to have Alonso in. It. Maybe well, depends who they appoint. Alonso might need a betting in period. Maybe we could take advantage of that. Like you know, you, we've seen it. How many times have we seen it where managers like Klopp leave and it takes a while to get to get to start getting things right again? I'm not saying they're going to you know fall away mid table or anything. I'm sure they're still going to be very very good. But there's no guarantees he's going to hit the ground running and start challenging for the title in his first yeah, season. Yeah, but I think it's there's different. No guarantees. There's no guarantees, hundred percent. But I think it's a different case, uh, Liverpool, than than a lot of other clubs. Like let's say Man United under Alex. Ferguson or something like that. Alex Ferguson like left the club in dire straits when he left there with an aging squad. He's actually leaving Liverpool um, in at the end of a rebuild, pretty much with a young squad, hungry squad, um, and a squad that's fighting for the Premier League this season. I think he's leaving them in really good hands, to be honest. United won the Premier League this season. Before. Yeah, but you know it's a different kettle. Of you fish. know Wenger when he left Arsenal, what happens? I'm not saying. Yeah, I'm but not, I'm but not those, saying those not... two clubs he left. They. they Wenger and Alex Ferguson left both of those clubs on a downward trajectory. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think Klopp's doing that at Liverpool. No, I don't think so either. I'm just saying there's no guarantees that uh, Liverpool, when a new manager comes in, it's going to be so like really easy for him to just take the baton and 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 um, take from where Klopp left off. It might take a bit of betting. It might take a season. Maybe no more than that, but it might take a season. And maybe we could take advantage of that. I'm not look. Of course, Liverpool have got a better squad than us right now. They're in a better place right now. But I'm saying I don't think we can safely say once Klopp leaves and if Tottenham get Champions League football next season, maybe we can take advantage of a little bit of uncertainty that might be appearing at Liverpool at that stage. But 
I'm just saying when we're putting our project forward to Pedro Neto and we do have Champions League football to offer and we're playing really good football under Posta Coglu, it depends how we finish the season, we could definitely um, sell him our project. And I think there would be, uh, he could definitely, I think he would look at it very, very seriously. I don't think there's any guarantee he just bats us away straight away. Mm. There, yeah. There's no guarantee that he says yes either, but I'm just saying we, we, I think we have a good case. Look, there is a case. There's always a case, but I do think Liver the Liverpool case will be more appealing than the Spurs case come the summer. I don't Even know. if Jabby, especially if Jabby Alonso goes there, I think uh, we have to wait. We have to see what 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 how both teams finish season and everything. But I think Spurs could be a very attractive proposition for him. Let's say Liverpool do go and win the title this year. Do you think like that even strengthens their case even more? Like going probably. to the Premier League title winners? Yeah, probably. And you know, there's no even guarantees that Spurs going to get into the Champions League this summer. Hence, why I said um, if we get into Champions so, League. We have to wait and see. I, I do personally think if like all these clubs are going after him, like we are a bit further down the pecking order. But there's always a chance, isn't there? So mm. we'll see what happens with that one. Um, the last few things, we've got three quotes to go through. First one from Hyung Min Son. And he's spoken out on Instagram in a heartfelt message about Kangin Lee. He... Um, he met with Kangin Lee in London yesterday or two days ago regarding the big bust up that did happen on career duty. And it looks as though that all has been forgiven and they have kissed and made up. And this is the statement that is uh, put out from Hyung Min Son. It says, hello, this is Son Hyung Min. Today I'm going to talk about something a little heavy and difficult. Kangin sincerely regretted and sincerely apologized to all the players on the national team, including me. When I was young, I made a lot of mistakes and showed a bad appearance. But every time I had the tingling advice and teachings of good seniors. So I think I can be here now. So that Kangin will never do this kind of wrong behavior again. We will take special care of all our players as seniors of the national team and captains so that Kangin can grow into a better person and a better player. I don't think I did well about my actions and I think it was enough to be criticized, but I'm the position that it's one of the captain's duties to do such unpleasant things for the team. So even if I'm in the same situation again, I'll act for the team. However, I will do my best to lead the team members more wisely and more and wisely in the future. Kangin has been uh, having a very hard time since then. Please forgive me once with a generous heart as the captain of the national team. By all means, please. And among these stories for some time, the content about the side of the national team has nothing to do with the facts. And we always have tried to look at one's place as a team. I sincerely apologize for causing such a noisy problem, despite being loved by the soccer. And I'll do my best to make our Korea national team a growing team with this opportunity. Once again, as the captain of Korea's national, national team, I sincerely apologize. Um, so a very heartfelt message there. My captain. My yeah. captain, human. So I love that statement. Takes responsibility for his actions, but also doesn't... Um, distance the reasoning for why he had to do that and he you know truly believing that you know the the reason he reacted so strongly was for the good of the team and sometimes those things um hard um behaviors and hard actions have to be taken when the team unity is threatened all that kind of stuff and that's what he's always thinking about and he's a good he pretty admits which is great that maybe i went too far maybe i shouldn't have um, done some things i did but he doesn't apologize for why he did them and and that, look, Son is always such a team player. I thought it was a brilliant message, and I'm, and he knows that Lee uh, Kangin, um, Lee Kangin is such a big part of the future for South Korea, and he knows that he's a young player. Some sometimes players, when they're young, they can do stupid things, and they maybe uh, behave in certain ways which they would regret later. So he's not going to completely, um, fr you know, uh, kick him aside and can't and publicly. Uh, 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 shame him or anything like that he's always going to back him and obviously he accepts that apology and hopefully that matter can be put to bed now but obviously i think it's a great same from sonny and just shows more leadership material from him yeah um he is just like day by day by every action being shown shown what a great leader he actually is and uh for the national team in the spurs team as well i love everything that comes comes out of his mouth to be honest i think he leads with such example it's great to see the picture of him in kangin as well if you want to go check it out on sonny's instagram page as well so um it's just great all round to see them back together um two stars of the korean national team one of the past and the future and the present and one of the future so um it's great to see those things coming together and a uh, good future for korean football hopefully after that and uh, that is the Tottenham update we have for you today so let me know in the comment section below your thoughts regarding all the news stories we've brought to you today like subscribe and comment 
And as always, come on, you Spurs. Spurs.